Hey, I want to give you a quick review on this water osmosis treatment system. This thing's fantastic uh, because of quite a few things. I'm going to walk you through a few of them, what I love about it. Uh, probably the first and foremost is you can just put this thing anywhere, just like you would put a coffee maker anywhere you want. Or it does come with um, some, some cable, not cable, but uh, tubing that allows you to kind of put it under like a regular permanent water source. Uh, everything you need for installation is right in here, which is great. So I have it to where I can move it around. So I might put it on one counter or another, uh, might move it to a different room, that kind of thing. So I have just set up. Now, um, there really wasn't a lot to this to get it really up and running, but let me just kind of show you this. Is basically you have your lid right here. You open this up. It does come with the filter that uh, with it automatically. It has an alarm going off right now that tells me that the lid's off. Um, all you do is you twist this on and pull it out or twist it, put it down and twist it on and that's how it goes. This is your water reservoir. Now with the water reservoir, this is something that you just have a handle here and I can fully remove it. So I could take this completely off, fill it up with the, you know, sink water if I wanted to and put it in here. And one of the better things about an osmosis water filter filtration system is the fact that it will pull just about anything out of uh, your water. That's what makes them, makes them special. Now, once I have it set, this is actually a touch control pan panel right here. I basically touch that and you're gonna see right now, this is my room temperature. I can um, push these different settings and let me walk you through these. So with volume, it basically is how many ounces I want. So if I had left it on this, it's just gonna you know, go until I stop it. I could just push that button, let the water flow and then stop it again. So if I want a few, few drops of water, I could do that. I do have a cup here, I'm gonna just show it to you real quick. Um, but let's say I have a six ounce cup, eight, and I just go through those settings right there and you can see what that goes. So I'm going to do just six ounces. Let's do, uh, we're going to do six ounces right here. And then I can do the temp. Now, if I push R RT, that's room temperature, but let's say I want hot water. So if I touch it once, that's room temperature. If I touch it again, it's 113, 185 or hot, 203. You'll notice this turns red at the top. And then all I do is touch that button right there. It's going to heat up very quickly and pretty much give me really hot, hot water that I can. Now, a lot of people will even have filters that they put right here. Yeah, that's hot. Uh, you can probably see the steam coming off of it right now. Um, it comes out extremely hot, ready to roll. And I, like I said, I just put six, set it at six ounces. Now, if I wanted to stop it in the middle because maybe I, it's overflowing or doing something weird, I can just push that button and it'll automatically stop, but I'm just gonna let it run the full six ounces, just like that. What were you gonna it, say about the filter? Some people put a filter here? Um, some, uh, yeah, so also sometimes people wanna make a real fresh coffee. If you have a little thing where you can put coffee right here and let it filter through there and do it like a slow drip, you can do this. Uh, it does have a little water catch feature, so if you wanted, you could maybe have a bigger cup that goes here without this. It just kind of sets right there next to it. Um, as far as the simplicity of it, it will also tell you if you're low on water, an L1 will come up and you'll just know that you need to fill it up. When you first start it, it gives you directions. Uh, obviously it comes with directions, real simple to use. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna do it and run through the water a couple times. So if I click this button, it gives me all the highlights. And then what I'll do is I'll push and hold that button. It'll give me a uh, blinking HH and then I push it. It'll drain some water out for the first couple times you wanna kinda of circulate the water through. Once I've done that, it's good to go. It does give you suggestions in here uh, about when you should maybe you know, change your filter, things like that. But one filter is gonna last you a lot of time, a long time. So this is actually really good because you can take it camping with you if you wanted to and have fresh water. You can pull it right out of a creek, pop it in here and you can drink it without any issue because of how well a reverse osmosis machine works. Uh, there's two QR codes for it, everything like that. But if you're looking for one, pick this up. Absolutely gonna love it.